This is the Avaya Podcast Network. APN. Technology, news, and information. All in one place. Want to find out what Avaya presented to the FCC this week? That's coming up next on the E911 Talk Podcast, Episode 111. Recorded on Friday, October 26, 2012. Welcome to this edition of E911 Talk with your host, Mark Fletcher, Pilot Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. Now, here's Fletch. Last month, I had the pleasure of participating in the Illinois Institute of Technology annual real-time collaboration conference held in Chicago. I had the opportunity to present Avaya's vision and strategy for next generation 911 in the enterprise and how an enterprise could enable software in a VM environment that could provide location discovery, data correlation, on-site notification, as well as a management interface for the emergency services infrastructure within the enterprise. I also showed how public safety could then access this information over the internet and how we could provide the location of that information in existing alley records. About a week after that presentation, I received a call from Henning Schulz-Rini, currently the CTO at the FCC, who had attended my session. He invited me to be a panelist on a workshop that the FCC Public Safety Homeland Security Bureau was hosting. That was going to focus on the upcoming Communication Security Reliability and Interoperability Council, or CISRIC, testbed dealing with issues related to improving indoor location accuracy. The CISRIC mission is to provide recommendations to the FCC to ensure, among many other things, optimal security and reliability of communication systems, including telecommunications, media, and public safety. 911, and more explicitly, next generation 911, falls right in the middle of their scope of responsibility. The majority of the other participants of the panel focused on how the information would be collected and what information was going to be available. Personally, I don't believe that collecting the information is really the problem. Enterprise networks are well aware of the devices and users that are attached to them. Therefore, the main point on my session was that, since we already have this information, the problem was making the data available to public safety when an event occurred. Now, with only seven minutes to present my thoughts and ideas, I needed to focus on the facts and get my point across. Here's a synopsis of what I presented. Historically, yesterday's fix for E911 was to implement automation within the enterprise that would manage the PS Alley database in the carrier network. Once users moved, updates typically took 48 to 96 hours before they became active and the information was usually batch processed at the end of the day. As users became more nomadic in nature, this latency in the process took its toll on data accuracy and ultimately sacrificed safety. As users extended connectivity outside of the enterprise, through VPN technologies, telephones became software applications, allowing for even more mobility. A recent addition to yesterday's fix was to provide access to dynamic PS Alley databases, a technology initially developed for cellular mobility. From an enterprise perspective, this required additional automation, as well as recurring per station charges, while still not really solving the problem. True, emergency operators could see specific cubicle numbers, however, that information was not relevant to them as they had no knowledge of the building layout. Avaya's vision for next generation 911 in the enterprise utilizes a technology that provides internal security and first responders with specific location information about users, devices, location, as well as environmental data and overall event correlation. Public safety can now become empowered with additional information that can be used to make better decisions. This is made available to public safety in a single static alley record that corresponds to a web address on the Enterprise Location Management, or ELM server. This also positions the Enterprise Network for full alignment with the NINA I3 specification for next generation communications being deployed in several areas. Delivering this same information via PIDA flow from the Enterprise only requires adjusting the destination address in the next generation 911 network from the digits 911 to sos.municipality.state.gov and then sending that information in the SIP invite header. 911 in the Enterprise is much more than making a phone call. It's about connecting public safety to the event and the event to public safety. Imagine how firefighters may change their response, understanding where the hotspots are in a building or how paramedics could provide valuable instructions after evaluating vital statistics from a patient, or how a SWAT team may approach a bank knowing that the hold-up alarm was not a mistake or an accident. 
Now, for someone that's considered to be generally verbose in nature, delivering this vision in seven minutes was certainly a challenge. However, it was quite apparent that there was overall agreement with most of the folks in the room that day. I have to tell you, it's times like this when it's difficult to find the right words to properly thank and commend my friends, colleagues, and especially Avaya, who provide me with the opportunity to think outside the box on a topic that has the potential of saving so many lives. I also appreciate all the great comments and suggestions that I get every single week from my audience of listeners, and I encourage you to continue letting me know what you like, what you dislike, or just saying hi. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Fletch911. You've been listening to the E911 Talk Podcast with your host, Mark Fletcher, Product Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. E911 Talk is a weekly podcast available on sites like this, as well as iTunes, and is available free of charge. If you have any comments or questions, you can email Fletch at FletcherM at Avaya.com. That's Fletcher, the letter M, at Avaya.com. Be sure to listen in next week for more informative topics on E911. 911, 911, the line is recorded. What is the exact location of your emergency? This is the Avaya Podcast Network. APN.